Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. It seems a lot of Nigerians are interested in Iyabo Ujo's new man. As it is, it was just some days ago that Iyabo revealed she has a new man, whom she has been with for quite some time now, but she chose to keep it a secret. She also stated that her boyfriend is an easygoing person who enjoys his privacy. And apart from that, she's also not prepared to flaunt her love on social media yet. But will do so after they walk down the aisle. And you know what? I do not think I want to celebrate anyone until I'm getting married again. So I don't talk about my love life. But yes, I do have someone in my life. Fine girl like me must get bobo. Well, in the previous year, just 2021, Yabo has become one of the most controversial actresses. The actress had a lot of confrontation on social media with different people. And of course, this has affected the way some people see her even though some people praise her for her boldness. And she's really not one who normally flaunts her relationship on social media. Even the last relationship, Yabo did not come out to confirm this. It was not until there was a problem and then it was confirmed that truly they were in a relationship. And of course, Yabo is a single mom. She's not married. So definitely, she can't have a man and settle down again. She already has two kids, Festus and Priscilla Ojo, who are currently in their 20s. She got married when she was quite young, in her 20s, about 21 years old. And that marriage sadly did not last for more than three years. And now this actress is happy again, in a new relationship. And so many Nigerians were saying, oh, why still hide this identity? Why not flaunt your man and enjoy your life? Be yourself on social media platforms. Well, to answer that, according to Yabo Ujo, she's always been attacked on social media. This man is a man who wants to be in his corner because he feels that people on social media who attack Yabo, those are our fans, our haters, and all those people, should not drag him into all the social media bans. So he wants to be in his own corner and be left private. So for Yabo Ujo, our other half's identity will be kept private until they walk down the aisle. This is when she will now reveal his identity to the whole world. But one thing is for sure, a lot of Nigerians will be thrilled to see Yabo Ujo walk down the aisle once again. For all the recent news on this style about actress Yabo Ujo, please stay with us. Just yesterday, Yabo was all emotional. She's currently one of the cast in the trendy reality TV show, Real Houses of Lagos. And their photos were recently spotted as billboards in some parts of the state. Showing a video on her Instagram, she said she felt overwhelmed, noting that her level has changed because now she's global. She also took her time to express her appreciation to everyone who has helped her make it to this reality TV show. And this was exactly what she shared on her official social media platform. Seeing this, I feel so overwhelmed. I won't lie. IY sexy, boss lady, learners, Olo go for one, is everywhere. Never don't change. The global baby. Jola Atalade, Dari Atalade, and Life Sports. I can't thank you guys enough for this great opportunity. I don't even know why I was picked, but I just want to say thank you. And I truly do appreciate this. Lyle Oyatogu, the baddest PR, baddest manager. My only both friend, English too much. I bless the day I met you. You always know how to get me on the right track. And you don't joke with my brand. If not for you, I would have turned this down. The thing for the payment now. Like I first said, how so about me a local, me a show. We're international now, which card gone up. Also, nine hours ago, Yabo Ojo became the latest brand ambassador for the brand Annie's Enhanced Beauty. And she shared those with the short advert on our official social media platform. So, congratulations to Yabo Ojo. Meanwhile, two days ago, Yabo shared a short slip of herself appreciating God for where she is today and the things she has overcome. According to her, lots of Nigerian people started treating her unjustly because of her circumstances. And in her words, this world, most especially this country, Nigeria, I was treated so unjustly because of my circumstances and choices I made to better the life of my children. Number one, I became a second class citizen immediately my marriage failed. A trillion times the hate, the bullies, the causes, the unapologetic, horrible rejections. It was massive from my society, my people, my country. 
Being a single mom was like living in a foreign land with no papers. Thanks to the media, writing and creating false narrative about me just worsened everything. The word prostitute became my crown. Number two, choosing an acting career was like finding yourself in a crime scene. You had no business being there. It became a confirmation that I was irresponsible, a whore, a fame was the reason why I led to a marriage. Number three, acting my language over, oh my world, made matters worse. I was tagged local and awarded to associate with the so-called elites. It was a big deal then. Even when I spoke the little English I understood, people couldn't hide their shock. Even till this day, we are underrated. A year British is our nickname. But listen, young ones, local is original. Stay true to your, stay true to your culture because that's your identity. Number four, I was not expected to have a voice. I was a single mother, I had no morals, and wanted to be called Romoto. Number five, yes, sharing my story on the internet labeled me talkative and clautino. But if I had stayed in it and the deed had been done, you all would have been quick to shift the blame on the dead. Forgetting our society created this fear, the stigma, the mockery, the labeling, which is not for the faint at heart. We need to do better as a society. We'll never fuck up hands in the hair. Staying true to myself, building a strong wall around my heart and growing in my inner strength. And my children has gotten me this far. Today, I'm a success story. I will continue to tell my story to encourage a lot of mothers out there. We can and we win in the end. This was what she shared on our official social media platform. Well, today, Yabo is known as a Nigerian actress, producer, entrepreneur, and a brand influencer. She's the CEO of First Wish Limited, a collection of enterprises. First Wish consists of Abla Sport, Lunch, and Bar, and other subsidiaries. This business was named after her kids. Festus Ojo and Priscilla Ojo. She joined the movie industry in the year 1998 and began film production in 2004. She was formerly known as Alice Yabo Uguru before she got married to her ex husband Ojo, who now resides in the USA. And since then, she has not reverted back to her maiden name. So, these are some of the other recent news on Yabo Ojo. We have come to the end of this episode where Yabo Ojo finally reviews her affairs made that decision to keep his identity being anonymous until they finally tie the knots. As many Nigerians are interested to know the man Yabo Ojo is currently with, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.